Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I want to share with you an ayah that's very dear to my heart and a story that's very personal, but I will share it with you anyway, inshallah. So the ayah or part of the ayah says what? وَعَسَىٰ أَن تَكْرَهُوا شَيْئًا وَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ وَعَسَىٰ أَن تُحِبُّ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ شَرٌ لَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ يَعْلَمْ وَأَنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Maybe it is that you what, detest or dislike something and in it there is lots of good. And maybe it is that you love something and in it what? There is evil or harm for you. And Allah knows and you do not know. Now, the story that I want to share with you is something where I experienced this. I went through something and I saw a lot of harm or a lot of evil in it and I couldn't see the good. I couldn't understand. I didn't know that sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts us through these trials to see our faith, to see if we, you know, have patience over His wisdom subhanahu wa ta'ala. So story starts about 10 years ago and I had my first child and she was not yet crawling and I thought to myself, you know what, this is the best time to perform pilgrimage or hajj. You know, can leave her with my mom, she's not yet moving, perfect timing. So we decided that we're going to go to Hajj inshallah and wrote out the check and I just moved into this new apartment. I was still going through the process of applying for my paperwork here in the States and whatnot. And I threw out my check, you know, going to the, um, to the company and then I opened my mailbox and I find a letter of deportation. I was like, oh my God, okay, this is really not good. So, of course, I had to follow up with that. Alhamdulillah, it was an issue from their side. I had changed my address. They sent for an appointment, and they did not update the address in their system. Alhamdulillah, it was taken care of, but it took a couple of months. But that meant that I had to go right away and cancel my check and my plans for Hajj that year. And I was heartbroken. The first thing I thought to myself, why am I being deprived from Hajj? Is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upset for me? What did I do wrong? It took me for the longest time ever, whenever I thought about it, that I could not go to Hajj that year, my heart would cringe. Wallahi, I cannot explain to you. I was so sad. And fast forward two years, and I'm at my, you know, my um, relative's house, and we're sitting down casually, two and a half years exactly later, and then this auntie and uncle are talking with us, and the lady tells me, you know, Yusra, Uncle went to Hajj two and a half years ago, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh my God, that's so cool, exciting. How was it? Tell me about it, blah, 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 and this and that. And he says, it was miserable. It was the worst thing ever. Company was a fraud. We were on the street for two days sleeping. They took our passports and our luggage and we didn't have clothes. We almost even missed Arafah. He's like, I can't tell you how bad it was. And I ask him, what company did you go with? And guess what? He tells me the same company that I was going with on that same year. SubhanAllah, Wallah al -Azim, I was in tears. And all I could think of was what? Maybe it is that you dislike or hate something and in it is good for you. SubhanAllah, I'm thinking to myself, had I gone on that trip because I was going to go on that trip, what would have I gone through? Would I have been even able to make it to Harafah? Would I have been able to keep the patients having to sleep on the street for a couple of days and losing the luggage and losing the company altogether? SubhanAllah, sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or not sometimes, Allah always has a wisdom that we as human beings fail to see, right? We go through so many tests in lives, right? Whether it is you know, a financial issue, or it's you have kids that are, you know, giving you a hard time, or you can't have kids, or you're going through, you know, a marriage and you have all these difficulties, or you're not married and you can't find the proper spouse, or your health, whatever it is, sometimes we see it as something that is evil or harm for us. But wallahi, wallahi, and I try to remind myself before you because we're human beings and sometimes we lose that patience or we lose the ability to see beyond what is in front of us. Have faith wherever you are in your life, whatever it is that you're going through right now, that maybe it is something that you don't like, but I am sure, inshallah, inshallah, ya Rabb, I'm sure in it there's good for you. Wallahu ya'lam wa antum la ta'lamun. And Allah knows, and you do not know. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us, Ya Rabb, the wisdom to understand what He puts us through and give us the patience to have, you know, acceptance, rida, and qubul. Maybe we're not in love with what we're going through in our lives, but at least 
we have rida bi qada Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we're accepting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's destiny and will be his destiny for us right and maybe inshallah one day you will understand why you went through this and maybe you won't but have faith that inshallah inshallah ya rab whatever it is you're going through it's khair for you it's the best for you assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh